Well, we are in the middle of winter, but it is never too early to start thinking spring. Joining us with the dirt from the U of I Extension, it's horticulture educator Ryan Panka. He's joining us over Zoom. Ryan, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. And I'm definitely suffering from the winter blues as a gardener. I don't don't have much to do this time of year. I know. So what do gardeners like you do during the winter? Well, lots of different things. I mean, I spend a lot of time with houseplants and other things. <laughs> but, you know, today we're kind of talking about a fun activity coming up that we plan each year. And it's really been for about the last 25 years. Our Vermilion County Master Gardeners have organized um, a spring garden day. Um, and it's really great day to come out and, and learn about gardening stuff hang out with other gardeners and um, it's just a great collaboration we have with danville area community college who sponsors and hosts kind of the site um, and our master gardeners kind of do some of the details of finding the speakers and other things so that's coming up in just a few weeks here well and it sounds like they have some great presentations um, planned some great speakers mm -hmm. i love the topics let's go through some of them that might pique the interest of some of our viewers at home um, first up we have creating a habitat for bluebirds yeah, and that's kind of our, our feature presentation with Dr. Wendy Brown, who's um, you know a biology professor at, at DAC at Danville Area Community College. So she'll be talking about you know things she's done and how you as a gardener could add bluebird habitat. And I know some of our Vermilion County folks through interactions with her are are big um, you know blue, bluebird um, habitat builders now um, from talking with her. So it should be interesting for anybody that's interested in the bird side of gardening. Are there more than one? Bluebird? <laughs> I'm just thinking uh, blue jays. What are the other bluebirds? Uh, no, we're talking about bluebirds, which is oh. you know, species of, yeah, th there's more than one blue colored bird, but bluebird's the common name. Yeah, that's that's just one type of bird that we're talking about. <laughs> okay, this is just another reason why I probably ought to check out this, this little workshop. Okay, up next, managing pests and diseases in an organic garden. Yeah, so that's our, one of our own educators, Erin Harper, who's the Small Farms Local Foods Educator right here in Champaign County, and she'll be talking about, yeah, all, all the different ways that you can organically handle um, pests and disease in your vegetable garden. So um, she brings a lot of knowledge and experience, and that should be a great one if you're interested in organic gardening. Okay, and then this one, I love the little fun twist that you have on this one, reducing ache and pains during the gardening season, because... After working outside in your garden all day, you kind of get in a groove, and then you sit down and you're like, oh, <laughs> you're feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should be some ways that you can not get as many of those aches and pains and small injuries from gardening. And so Josh Osterber will be our uh, pre presenter for this, and he is a certified personal trainer. So he's not really a gardener, but he brings, you know, the kinesiology side of all this into, into play. And we'll talk about, you know, ways to kind of stay healthy and keep gardening for, for longer. Okay, and up, our final um, presentation is on what's old is new again. Hmm. Yeah, and so that's a neat one um, by the executive director for All American Selections, Diane Blazik. And um, All American Selections is a, a nonprofit organization that kind of uh, trials new plants. So they, across the country, they test um, different new plants that, you know, new varieties that are coming out of both vegetables and ornamental plants. And then they provide kind of their top choices every year based on what they've seen in the field. And so it's it's just kind of a way with, with all these new varieties that come out every year, you can kind of say, hey, I, I know these few at least are going to do well in my garden and they come recommended. So she'll be kind of talking about that whole process and in some of their latest recommendations. So cool presentation with a, with a bunch of cool plant pictures and neat plants to talk about. And do you know what else is cool, Ryan? Swag bags. Yes. And, and that is one thing I've really enjoyed at this event in the past, too, are the swag bags. So anybody that <laughs> registers um, gets a nice bag, and we, we stuff it full of the, some of the latest extension publications. We're just trying to get some, some informational stuff in there, but also cool garden giveaways and opportunities and, and just other, like, gardening information and, and, and items in there. So Very uh, fun. Everybody gets one of those. Okay. Yep. They also are providing lunch. There's going to be garden-themed vendors, the mm -hmm. silent auction. When do um, people need to sign up by, register by, and how do they do that? Well, sure, yeah, and actually I do want to highlight the lunch because that is Dax Culinary School that actually prepares that lunch, and so that's that's kind of neat that there's, you know, students in that active program um, make the lunch for everybody, but um, this is an event that does sell out every year. Um, it's coming up on... Uh, 
March uh, 4th, so you do need to get your tickets quickly if you're going to register for this, but um, you can either register by calling or visiting our Vermilion County office, or we do have an online registration available at go.illinois.edu uh, slash Vermilion Garden Day, kind of all one word, and don't forget that Vermilion just has one L. I know that's a common uh, spelling mistake. <laughs> yep, but you know what? We're going to keep it simple and make it easy for our friends at home by just linking up at CILiving.tv. Sound good? Sounds good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, happy patiently waiting for spring's arrival. And until then, if you want to learn a little bit more about Garden Day and everything happening with the University of Illinois Extension and what Ryan's up to, we'll connect you at CILiving.tv. Ryan, thanks so much. Thanks.